Adam Wainwright continues to to just come out, and even though he's turning 40. 113 pitches, 71 for strikes. 113 total pitches, 71 strikes. Sorry about Shut that. <laughs> Adam Wainwright continues to come out, and even though he's turning 40 this summer, he's pitching with the same kind of exuberance and, and talent as he did when he first came up. What are you seeing from him that has allowed him to, to have this ace caliber performance every time he's on the mound? Uh, first of all, what's wrong with 40? I mean, it's nothing wrong with 40. <laughs> nothing. Nothing wrong with 40. <laughs> um, no, bueno, I mean, he worked hard, you know. He wanted to be there for, for us, for our team, and um, he prepared. I mean, and this guy's amazing me every time. He, he takes the mom. I'm, um, I'm happy for him, you know. Do you think that he maybe feels a responsibility given coming into the uncertainty of his offseason and and maybe the uncertainty surrounding the pitching staff? Do you think he feels a responsibility to come out here and perform and, and take command of this rotation? Yeah, I think so. I think so. He take proud. He take proud what he do. Um, he work hard for that. And and right now he's doing good. Um, um, like I say, I'm happy for him because he I know how hard he's, he's been working to be on this place. Um, um, like I say, I'm happy for him. Thank you very much. Benjamin Hawkman, St. Louis Post Dispatch. Hey, Yadi, I wanted to ask you about Nolan Arenado. In your mind, in this team, besides just the hits and the stats, can you ask again? We lost the podium. Yes. All good. Uh, Yadi or Molina, I'm going to ask you about. I'm going to ask you about. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to ask you about. About uh, uh, Nolan Arenado, can you yes. describe, besides his statistics, what he brings to this team? He brings confidence. Um, obviously, when you when you have him on the lineup, um, on the field playing defense, I mean, you feel confidence. Um, um right now he's he's doing good for us. Um, um you know what he brings to the table is a superstar. Um, um, we I was. I was happy for him when we get him. I'm happy for him because it's playing good. Jeff Jones, Bubble News Democrat. Yadi, when's the last time you got to play in front of your mother on Mother's Day? Oh, it's been it's been a long time. So I'm happy for for her. I'm happy for me. I'm happy for my for my family that they are all here. And I'm um uh, we I mean I'm glad that we we got the win. I got that I got two base season for her. And we see it. she was happy. I mean, she was happy for that. I saw that they showed her on the scoreboard and you turned around and you clapped for her, made the whole crowd clap for her. Was that fun for you to have a chance to have a stadium clap for your mother? It is. I mean, we, I, don't, I don't have too many more more years to go. Um, probably one or two more. But, I mean, to have to have her um, um, to see my game um, and to be here with us, I mean, it's just simple. It's the best. Tom Timmerman, St. Louis Coast Dispatch. Uh, Yadi, uh, is it was there sim was symbolism on your your gear there? What was with the with the letters there? What did that did that have any significance? Uh, the one over here, Mike. Well, I was thinking about just on the on the chest protector, but yeah, any of it, yes. I did, I did, yeah. The the one over here is Mike. That that's my mom nickname. Um, but the other ones, I don't. I mean, it's a bunch of words, you know, like "Hi, mom" or something like that. And we know about the role your father played in your development. What about your mother's role? Oh, amazing. I mean, uh, she's, we won't be here without her. I mean, she take care of us um, when my dad was working. Um, and she loved baseball. I mean, she managed every game. Um, every time I go home after the game, I say, why do you call that? So, I mean, she knows about baseball. Um, and she's, I mean, she's, she's, she like it. I mean, so, um like I say, I mean, she, she's part of, of us. I mean, me, Benji, Chell, um, we grew up with her. I mean, she, she was tough on us, but I mean, it's, she's fun. She's fun to have her around and, and guys that she's here with us. Thank you very much. Derek Gould, St. Louis Post Dispatch. Yeah, the answer is nothing is wrong with 40, just so you know. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with 40. Nothing no. wrong. Um, hey, I want to ask you two quick things. One, your mother, what is her favorite thing for her to see you do? Get the doubles or catch Wainwright? Uh, she she like when we won. When we win games, that's what she like. 
Uh, she hates losing um, every time we lose. She don't care about me getting, she don't like me to strike out. I mean, she, she, she don't like that, but she hates losing. So every time we lose a game that she's, she's in a bad move. I wanted to ask you too about Wainwright's curveball. Is it as sharp as as ever? And yep. how is it that a guy like Trevor Story, who's seen it so many times, or some of these hitters who've seen it so many times, still still reach for it? Yeah, still. I mean, when you see a guy going a not a a in and not in, I mean, this guy uh, can pitch. I mean, he's still still nasty. And it's as good as ever the curveball, or is it better? Uh, but I mean, one is a smart pitcher. I mean, he he missed around. Um, he throw a score like score ball sometimes hard, and then uh, take the speed off sometimes. Um, this is a smart pitcher. Thanks, Yadi. Last one for Yadi. Brendan Schaefer, KMOB. Yadi, you talk about the importance of winning. How big of a relief, and how good does it feel to be able to close things for Wayno so that he can feel good about the start? He obviously pitched really well, but to be able to do it on a winning note. Yeah, um, yeah, it's special for us to get that win, especially for Bueno to get that W. Um, we will concentrate. We will. Um, we we really want it. Um, we made some pitches when we needed. I mean, Helsey was throwing the ball really good, um, and we played some good defense for Bueno. Um, today was all Bueno, so I'm happy for that.